All right, guys, today on Short Side Wristers, we're going to be discussing the disgusting. We're going to be discussing the playoff predictor cards. So they have come out. Every team has one with the ability to upgrade to a 93, stay a 90, or the potential to be a 98 at the end of the season. So today I'm going to break down who you should go after, who you should invest in now, who you should wait and see on, who to avoid entirely. So let's get right into it. All right, so sportsclubstats.com will give us the best look at who to invest in. Obviously, there can it's sports, so it's not predictive, but you can help and see your odds here. So this site basically tells you what percentage each team has of making the playoffs from this day right now. So if we go through the current locks, no matter what, Tampa, obviously, Calgary, San Jose, Toronto, Imagine, Winnipeg, and Boston – are all at 100, meaning that all of these cards, so for example, the Kevin LeBanc, all going to be guaranteed to be a 93. Okay, now some of these are going to be division leaders. Most of them are going to be even 2 and 3 in the division. I'm going to get into that later. What we want to find is the 98s. Now, everyone's going to be like, okay, well, a 93 is still pretty good. You have to realize that they're going to stay 93 or 98 or 90, at the end of the season. That's the second week of April. So if we're looking at trying to get the most bang for our buck as far as our ending team goes, whether it be for the GWC, if you want to play for the $50,000, you want to make sure that you have the best team possible. So let's try and see if we can't bang out these 98s. So basically, these cards we can just eliminate. Tampa, Calgary, San Jose, Toronto, Winnipeg, Boston, and Nashville. All of those are pretty much guaranteed either to win the division or be in one or be in this two or three seed for that. <clears throat> we can also include Vegas, as Vegas is uh, in the Pacific. The Pacific is pretty much locked up, just like the Atlantic. So all of those teams, no matter what, they're going to get 93 overalls, which is still good. But again, you don't want to be spending money, and you can actually make a buck right now and invest and take a riskier chance on it. Okay, so now let's break down the teams, what we want to look at. So 16, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So Columbus is the line. All right, that's just the top 16, all right? Other teams obviously have better chances because of the, you know, it's 8 and 8. But these are, this is the realm in which we want to look. So do we want to grab the Pierre-Luc Dubois? Okay, do we want to grab the Dougie Hamilton from Carolina or the Essel Lindell? Because, again, these guys will go to 98. So let's jump in, and I'll give you my takes on who I think that you should personally invest in. I apologize if in exporting that image of that website comes out real weird. This is the first time me doing this on this program that I used to edit, so my bad if it does export really badly. If it doesn't, perfect. So... The cards that I think that you should probably target, okay? In the West, it's not as bad of a mess as it was a week ago. So the current standings in the wild card are Dallas and Minnesota tied for 71. Now, Minnesota, after the deadline, they were floundering. They lost Miko Koivu, and it looked like everything, they were done. They've won quite a few recently, uh, but I really have no faith in them. They're just old. They're, you know, I mean, there's no one special. They just kind of been average all year. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of Minnesota. So that would be who is behind them? Who would they fall out and replace? Or who would replace them? Uh, Arizona or Colorado? If you look at sportsclubstats.com, among those teams, okay, Arizona actually has a better percent chance to make the playoffs. So that means we're looking at Alex Galchenyuk. Also, remember, guys, starting on the 11th, Monday the 11th, these cards are going to update to 93s and 98s every Monday and Friday, meaning you could get an Alex Galch the Alex Galchenyuk. Say they hop into the wild card this week, okay, prior to Monday. They have a good weekend, and they replace Minnesota as early as this weekend. That means Alex Galchenyuk busts up to a 98, okay? Right now, if we search the auction house on PlayStation, he's going for about 220, okay? So for 220, you're either going to get a 90... Or a 98. Again, that's risky. But they're only two points out with a game in hand. And they play, next up, they play Anaheim. Whereas Minnesota plays Nashville. I don't know, boys. I'm just doing the odds here that I think Arizona will overtake Minnesota this week. Dallas, um, I like Dallas a lot more. I think Dallas will actually make the playoffs. Which means Essa Lindell is your next choice. They also have the ability and the, you know, the, the, the good standing here 
They only have 65 games played, all right? So if there's a tie in points, they have fewer games played. They're behind St. Louis by about three points, meaning that it would take quite a bit to them to jump over. And Essa Lindell would jump up to a 98 from a 90. Now, he's already, he's already super expensive. I think it's because he's obviously the easiest, easiest to predict um, among the West. So about 400 k is what you're looking at. So if I have to choose between Essa Lindell or... Galchenyuk, I'm honestly, I'm going to take Galchenyuk. Again, Dow, this Essa Lindell for an extra 200K is probably going to get you a 98 on Monday. But again, two points out. Minnesota has a has played an extra game. I think Arizona can take over Minnesota this week. That's going to put Alex Galchenyuk at a 98 for 200K. And again, that's just one of the teams. Because right behind Arizona, with 66 games played, however is Colorado. Three points back. Obviously, the most talented of all of them. Um, they have the... They're the last ones um, among the among the West because I really don't think Edmonton is going to make it. Sorry, guys. Uh, I think that their push is just going to be too late, come up short. So among the West, there's really only three. So Eric Johnson would go from a 90 to a 98 if they were able to get in by Monday. The thing is, I don't think they get in that early. I think it's going to come down to the last few games of the season. However, <clears throat> Colorado does play Detroit tonight. That's an easy matchup. And again, you're looking at you know low 200s to grab them. If that's the case, that's an easy stock. I mean, for 400K, you could grab Galchenyuk and Eric Johnson, and at least you're going to have a real good shot at getting one of them into the wild card spot because again guys this is for the final of the end of the year these are the cards that you want the 98s the 93s are just they're not going to be of huge value to you team of the year is going to be out prime times are all in the high 90s now milestone same thing i just don't think it's going to be that beneficial to you to have a 93 when you can take your shot so if you have for 400k honestly i would rather go eric johnson and galchenyuk over essa lindell and that's just the west so let's take a look at the east all right, so if we look among the playoff chances in the East, okay, Montreal is sitting at a 65% chance to make it, Columbus at 53.8, and then it's all the way down to Philadelphia. So here's the thing. We've got a log jam here because Carolina, Pittsburgh, Montreal, and Columbus are all within three points of each other, so this makes it a little bit more difficult. The one thing that you do know and that's good, is that Montreal, no matter what, if they make the playoffs, it's going to be in a wild card spot. So that makes that gives Druin a little bit more flexibility and a little bit more value because obviously if they make the playoffs and they're in the wild card, you know, um, that's that's a guarantee because they're not going to catch Toronto to bake it into the you know into the top three. So if we take a look at Jonathan Druin, who already has 99 speed by the way, uh, which is you know end game speed obviously, you're looking at about 350 to grab Druin. The thing I do want to mention though. Because Columbus is 75 points and two points back and a game in hand. Among all the teams, I mean, Columbus is definitely the most talented, much more so than Montreal. And Pittsburgh, who Montreal is tied with, also has Sidney Crosby and Malkin, and I just can't bet against them. Montreal's Carey Price is having a dynamite season, but at the beginning of the year, the roster looks so brutal that it's like, mm, do you really, really trust them? I've been waiting all year for their collapse, and in the last 10 games, they're 4-6 and six with Columbus hot on their tail, although Columbus is 4-6 and six after the deadline as well because, well, I don't know, that's just how Columbus is. The 90 Pierre-Luc Dubois is in the West who I would go after. And prices range here. I mean, you're looking at about 300 k to grab Dubois. Um, as a center, that's obviously going to have a little bit more value. His face-off is booty, but, I mean, he gets a plus 8. It's still going to be kind of trash. Um, but I I have a feeling that Columbus is going to catch fire. Their team is very good now with all the acquisitions and keeping Panarin and Bobrovsky. Also, Pittsburgh. Here's the thing about Pittsburgh. I have a feeling they're going to make the playoffs, but bump Carolina in the division. So this is where it's more difficult. Whereas in the West, it's kind of set. Like you have St. Louis three points ahead of Dallas. Carolina is only a point up on Pittsburgh. And does anyone have any faith in Carolina holding them off? Because I sure don't. They're a, they're a very good team on paper. We've been waiting for years for them to be good. But do you really have any faith? So that would mean that Dougie Hamilton... I, I think will be the other wild card team. I think that if Carolina makes the playoffs, it will be in a wild card spot. And right now, you're looking at it varies too, but low two hundred thousand. So, 
I mean, it's a safe bet as well. They're in a division spot, so at least he's going to get a 93 potentially. But if he falls, he's not going to fall out of the playoffs because he's got a three-point cushion. I think that that will be a wild card team. Dougie Hamilton, if you're looking for a, for for one for next week, I think on Monday he's going to be in the wild card spot. I just have a weird feeling they play Boston tonight. Pittsburgh plays Florida. I just have a feeling that Pittsburgh's going to pass Carolina in the division, and it's going to bump Dougie Hamilton down to the wild card spot to get to a plus eight. So then the other one would be Pittsburgh. Um, I think Pittsburgh is the safest because I think they're going to make the playoffs no matter what. I just you can never. I mean, their defense is in shambles, but I mean, you can never count against Crosby and Malkin. You just like you just can't. Problem is that it's Dumoulin, um, which is kind of like meh. So even if he gets a plus eight, like let's just take a look at his stats real quick. In uh, I mean, even in the auction house right now, he's going for like. 300k probably because you know they everyone thinks that they're he's gonna make it defense cards have been there i've been saying this all year their shots have just been so nerfed so if we look at him he's gonna be 99 skating but his shot accuracy would only boost to an 86 i would pass on Dumlin. he's gonna get a 93 maybe or a 98 I, he'll get one of them i don't think they miss the playoffs so if we're talking eastern conference Honestly, right now, I would go Carolina and Columbus. If you can get Dubois at a cheap price, I would say around 250 Same with Dougie Hamilton. I think those are the plays in the East. So, guys, so just to recap real quick, again, these are my hot takes, guys. You can disagree. I completely understand. In the West, I'm saying you can grab, you know, Johnson and... And Galchenyuk, but I mean, I think Johnson, I think Colorado, I mean, they're the most talented, but man, they've had such a rocky season. I really think Arizona can take over Minnesota. I have no faith in Minnesota making the playoffs, which would leave Essa Lindell as the 98 on Monday for Dallas and Galchenyuk as well. I think that Galchenyuk is the one to invest in, and same with Essa Lindell. I think that St. Louis will finish top three in the division, and the Pacific obviously is just there's no there's no way you can crack that. It's not going to happen. And then in the East, I think it's going to be Carolina and Columbus with Montreal falling out and Pittsburgh jumping up top. So, guys, that was my predictions for the playoff predictors as of March 5th. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm sure if I insulted some fan bases by thinking, hey, Montreal not making the playoffs. I've said it all year long. I just don't have any faith in them. They obviously could. They've had a very good year, and Carey Price is Carey Price. Um, I'm just going by the odds. I really think that it's going to be Carolina and Columbus. I just, man, I, imagine if Columbus went all in like they did and they missed the playoffs entirely. I just think that they're going to have their backs against the wall. They're going to know that they need to you know, push on and uh, I think that though Dubois would be someone to, to invest in. So, guys, again, let me know. Thank you for all the subscriptions. I really appreciate it. The likes, too. And I will see you guys tomorrow.